So I've already created my own US state battle simulator. Today, it's time for Europe. And I've been reading your comments, taking in a lot of your advice. I think this one's gonna go a bit more smoothly. So here's the playing field, and it's about to get very chaotic really quick. Let's see what we start off with first. So to kick things off, we're starting with the war, because we might as well. And it's going to be from Ireland. Uh-oh. They only really have a couple places they can go. Let's just see now what direction they attack in. And unsurprisingly, yeah, that's just the universe. They, of course, want to pay back the British. And just like that, the British Isles are unified. Couldn't tell already, literally anyone has a chance to win here. We're going with another war. Let's see who's gonna get some territory next. Oh, it's gonna be close. It's actually gonna be Iceland. Are they gonna steal away all of Ireland's resources? If it's towards the southeast, that would pretty much be the case. Well, there you go. Well, you know what? If you are Ireland in this situation, can you really be that upset? You destroyed your number one enemy. I think they're gonna be pretty satisfied. Another war. We are just not stopping. This time, it's actually gonna be Cyprus. I don't even know where Cyprus is gonna go. Are they gonna take over all of Turkey right now? Yep, that's the case. And just like that, we have islands that are really dominating Europe. It's about time we get our first alliance, so we're gonna spin the wheel twice, and it's gonna be... It's getting so close. It's Serbia. So the first country we pick is going to be the one that invites the second country. Serbia Serbia and Spain, the S yes nations. Now, I've made sure this time that an alliance is going to be a little bit stronger than the previous version. If Cyprus attempts to attack Serbia without any other friends, and if Spain can legitimately get to the front, which, I mean, it's just across the Mediterranean, it's not landlocked, then they're actually going to win that battle. It's not going to be quite as easy. I'm also really scared because I don't know the abbreviation for European countries. I'm just going to kind of make them up. We're going with another war because, of course, now Russia gets the chance to do something. Finally, some realism. And Russia's actually going to attack to the the south. Oh, and this is going to be a dream come true for them. They're taking back Ukraine. I think I hear Putin literally screaming in joy right now. All right, so there's already a big, scary Russian country entering the continent. Next up, another war with Finland. Maybe Finland can stop them. Now, will they go eastward? They're the only ones that can stop. Nope, they're going to attack their other rival, Sweden. Why am I not surprised at all? Finally, the tables have turned. Historically, Finland was kind of usually conquered by Sweden, but now we've got a little reverse card going on. We've got our first ideology choice being made in this universe, and it's actually Serbia who is already in an alliance. I wonder how Spain's gonna feel about this. So democracy is a thing. I guess we're just going to assume, oh, so they're gonna be a monarchy. I guess all the countries that don't have an ideology are just like random chieftain governments or something. Okay, just gonna draw my little crappy crown to signify they are a monarchy. Just to give a little bit more backstory, a little bit more lore into this universe. More fighting, and it's going to be... It's close. Is Finland gonna get some more stuff? Yes, they are. And after Sweden, they now want Estonia. That's their best friend, though. Maybe they... Maybe the Estonians don't actually mind. Don't they want to be part of Finland anyways? Well, there you go. They are now the strongest in the world. Actually tied for Iceland. There could be a battle brewing in the North Sea. Is Latvia gonna get their revenge? Latvia has the opportunity of completely wiping out all of and there it is they were so angry that Finland took out one of their Baltic brothers and with that they've taken over like 50% of the Nordic nations so alliances are pretty important if you don't have an alliance you can pretty easily get rolled over and that's just how it's gonna be in the very beginning so it's about time we get some more homies together we only have one so far and it's going to be Armenia I don't know how much Armenia is gonna be able to help but okay Armenia has invited Belarus that's a strange one but that's normally how these things are gonna go so I don't know how much these two are gonna really be able to help each other these are two landlocked nations for now, for now. Maybe they won't be that way forever. And there's also going to be a way for these places to form a union. Uh-oh, Latvia is already pretty powerful. So Latvia is going to get their first friend, which is going to make them, I think, probably the top nation to beat as of right now. Ooh, okay, well, it's just going to be Georgia. So these guys all the way from the Caucasus Mountains are joining the Purple Gain. This map's getting pretty colorful. Back to some war. Hungry's hungry. I haven't made that joke a thousand times. Let's see if they get back the Austrian thing. And yes, they did. We now have Austria-Hungary back once again. How beautiful is that? Now we just need Czechoslovakia to come back too. This time it's Croatia. And are they going to be going after Mineland Bosnia? I think so, yeah. Croatia out here trying to play a little bit of Minesweeper. Boom. Maybe they're going to revive you Yugoslavia, who knows? Let's see what other ideologies are in this world. We have one so far. Uh-oh. Germany or Italy? Should we, we be worried? Okay, it's gonna be Pizza Land. Are they gonna go with the whole, like, black shirt thing again? Nope, they're going monarchy. We've got two now. We'll see if Serbia likes this or not. I don't think they're really gonna care, to be honest. Will there be a coalition here? We have Matt- Oh, France. Uh-oh. Big moves by the big blue blob. So France is about to invite somebody into their new squad, and it is 
going to be oh belarus was already a part of something so they have just ended the alliance with armenia now that's a pretty good team i think they got going on armenia is kind of screwed but belarus is going to be in a bit of a better spot oh no and now azerbaijan has decided they want to fight okay what are the chances of that armenia just lost their only friend and now they're going to get taken over this stuff's already getting pretty funky Croatia with their next move they're going to take over more land do they continue to move oh northwest this is halfway to a yugoslavia right now almost halfway i don't know how serbia feels about this a croatian formed yugoslavia Cyprus once again now making a move going northwest and removing Bulgaria so these little guys are gonna survive for a little bit longer I guess down the Balkans are just really aggressive right now let's see what Albania does they are cleaning up this part of Europe though I will say I like that who is gonna come out on top over here I mean they don't look very huge because they've only been taking out like one or two countries everything is really small over here but they're doing a lot more than like the bigger guys the bigger guys haven't done shit. and now Serbia's getting a little jealous they want to make some moves now they have a friend so they're a little stronger and they are heading perfectly west which means they're attacking Croatia. Croatia, unfortunately, did not have any friends, so they are getting eliminated. Again, we're making dreams come true for a lot of different places. Now Serbia, you know they're loving this too. And we have a friendship. It's gonna be Germany or Poland. So Germany's gonna be inviting somebody. Whenever the Germans start making moves, that's when the Europeans really gotta worry. Okay, that is kind of a problem. Germany's inviting Latvia, which removes Georgia's friendship. I like how you can start to see where, like, a world war is about to take place. Kind of a miracle that all these big nations are still there. The Vikings, now they better not hope they go either north or south i was gonna say because they would lose they got really lucky and yeah they really are forming a viking empire they are still in a really tough spot though because uh we have germany and latvia surrounding them iceland you could maybe take over to get lucky and it's luxembourg's time now luxembourg is kind of surrounded and they're landlocked oh now again like i said the ally would have to legitimately be able to get to the front since belarus is landlocked and they're all the way over here that's not going to help them here luxembourg has just become beast denberg <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I've said all video. Is it even possible to like um, abbreviate European countries with just two letters? I know three, but I don't know about two. Switzerland has decided not to remain neutral, and they're going to be getting a friend here. They're getting the Netherlands. All right, that friendship kind of works out. I don't know how powerful this friendship will be, but it is something. We have a country choosing a new government type here, and it's Luxembourg. I guess you might as well, since you've taken over all of France. It's official. What kind of Luxembourg are we going to get? Communism? Fascism? Yep, they've installed a dictator. Some rich dictator, probably, since that country's so rich. And here you go. Um, just going to... Yeah, just gonna kind of, yeah. And Belgium is now going to war. They saw a lot of their, like, friends do something in the lowland areas. Now they want to do their own thing. And they're going to be taking their war efforts probably... Wait a second. That looks like Germany to me, unfortunately, considering, like, where their capital is with that direction. The problem is Germany is going to be able to call in Latvia, and this is going to backfire for the Waffle people. We have our first offensive war that uh, didn't work out so well. Purple Gang rising up. Now Belarus wants to do something. And I guess they want to take over all of Russia. It would have been Ukraine, but Russia took over Ukraine. Well, that's kind of scary. They don't have any friends, though. There we go, Portugal. Although this could backfire considering Spain has Serbia. Okay, yeah, it's confirmed. This is going to backfire. Serbia has the Adriatic Sea to come help out their buddies. I guess the cool thing is we will have a united Iberia, though. Who wants a new government? We have two monarchies and some... Fa oh, boy. Okay, Germany. So right now, the leading ideology is uh, monarchism, I guess. Uh, Germany's going democracy. Would have never guessed that. What is a symbol for democracy that's what i want to know i'm just gonna say like vote oh you can't even read that this is disgusting now serbia wants to try something they're going to add to their alliance already they have two this is gonna be our first three country alliance and it's slovakia randomly i don't know how much more powerful that's gonna make them unless for some reason serbia attacks hungary or or vice versa then that would help a lot latvia finally making moves again they might be thinking about taking over belarus and that is exactly what they're about to do now just keep in mind just because they look big doesn't actually make them big this is only a two-team alliance. Technically, it's Spain, Serbia, and Slovakia. They're the strongest. But that might change right here. Switzerland already has one Dutch friend, and they're going to invite another. Oh, it's Denmark. Now things are going to get interesting. The powder keg that is currently this continent right now hasn't exploded just yet, but you can really feel it. It is fizzling, ready to explode at any moment. But before we do anything, Romania wants to choose something. They want to choose one of these types of things, and it's fascism. That is the worst. You know what? I'm not going to say that. I'm just going to make sure YouTube doesn't slap me for drawing a weird symbol. Denmark is going to war. I just don't know how the Swiss are going to help if you don't attack like Luxembourg or something. Now you could go after Iceland and be pretty successful and that's exactly what they're going to do. Iceland was doing pretty well but they've got no friends. Goodbye my beautiful 
ice people, Volcano Nation. Germany and Latvia have so much to lose right now. They, they gotta get some friendships. But first, Poland wants to go to war. Oh, this could so easily backfire for Poland. I would not be, and it is. And just like old times, they're gonna get crushed from both sides. This time it's Germany and Latvia. I'm sure they never would have expected that. Oh no, we don't need more of this. They're moving straight south, cleaning up, and finally connecting the Balkans. Oh, I forgot this is Russian territory. I always forget that. And sorry, the Baltics. The Baltics has been united, not the Balkans. Balkans still have a long way to go. Look at that. The purple nation, they're just taking over everyone, or at least they have taken over everyone. But I keep saying they're not that strong. Germany is also a democracy. That doesn't mean anything, but that adds to the lore. Ooh, and it's Italy. Now be very careful, Italy. You haven't done much here. You're probably one of, that might have been, is that the best place they could have gone? Actually, no, that is maybe, well, there was really no place Italy could have gone except for, I mean, they were going to lose. Maybe if they somehow got lucky and, yeah, like landed on Luxembourg, but they're attacking Switzerland and that's going to backfire. Monarchist Italy is no more. Switzerland, you better take care of all that pizza. Hungary's been quiet for a while. This is going to get interesting. So they're going to invite someone, a part of their squad. I don't think they have any friendships or do they? Well, that's random, but honestly, you might as well take whoever you can get. Hungary literally had no friends. So yeah, you better accept this new homie. Armenia wants to fight. Maybe they'll go after Cyprus. No, they're going north. Armenia's dead. Whoops. All right, let's try that again. Surprised we've gone this far in the video without that happening. I thought that was going to happen all the time. And here we go, Serbia. What do you do next? They're in a really good position to pretty much win anywhere. Okay, well, this wasn't as impressive as I thought it was going to be. But yeah, you got to keep on cleaning up these territories. No, Latvia, not again. Actually, I keep forgetting. Latvia needs to be really careful. There's a couple people over here that could beat them. Well, mainly just Serbia, Slovakia, and Spain, and Switzerland, Netherlands, and Denmark. But that's surrounding their territory. And this is not good. They're attacking Danish-controlled Norway, which three to two means everything's about to change. Well, this isn't good. It's a lot of orange. Czechoslovakia, I don't know, man. You should probably not do whatever you're about to do. I'm fairly certain this is going to backfire. Yeah, that backfired. So in the later part of the game, yeah, you really just don't want to be attacking. If you don't have any friends and you are forced to attack, you're pretty much screwed. It's friendship time. Now, Greece hasn't done anything, but they're going to invite somebody to their squad. And you know what's even bigger is they might break up an already existing team. That's what the world really needs right now. Okay, well, that's something. Azerbaijan is not that powerful. They're also kind of landlocked, basically. They just have the Caspian Sea. Okay, that wasn't that great of a pickup. But hey, you tried. Oh no, is this team going to get even stronger? That's not going to be fair. Netherlands are now calling who knows who. Aw, Slovakia. That's kind of just mean if you think about it. You stole... So right off... See, it was close there for a second. Those two teams both had three friends. Now it's four to two in favor of of the orange squad since Spain and Serbia lost one there. Every friend kind of counts though. Even the small nations win like empires are this big. Georgia now finally wants to do something. Okay. And as long as they don't go north. Oh, they're taking out Cyprus. Kind of crazy that, you know, Cyprus did all right. Definitely not too bad. They just didn't have any backup. Romania, guys, you want to be careful. There's no way you're going to be that careful. Yeah, you, you, you weren't careful. But it actually looks like Hungary's getting some of this. Fascism has been destroyed here. Hungary and Moldova getting this. Moldova's probably really enjoying that. Oh no. They're they're just gonna get bigger. They just keep getting bigger and bigger. And they're moving straight south. Southwest, actually. So that means that Luxembourg and France are going away. I think it's safe to say they have this one. There's really not many neutral nations left, and they're kind of landlocked. Again, I apologize for not knowing the uh, two-letter abbreviation for these places. I know I definitely got them wrong. Sorry about that. What a weird battle royale when Switzerland, Slovakia, Netherlands, and Denmark win in a combined victory. Did not expect that, but there are definitely some fan favorites in that one, I will say. There's some people out there that are just in in love with this. Again, like I said last time, this is just kind of a big experiment. I'm just trying some things out. I feel like this one ran a lot better than last time, but I'll try to continue to improve. Thanks for watching. And big thanks to the October patrons. Majestic Unicorn. Poppy Drew Woo. I love Marks. Drew's Thick Briggs and Girlfriend. Drew's Argentinian Grandpa. Aryan After Hours. Bring Back Poland Ball. Alfonso M6. Barnsky W. Dalton D. Full Send Nick. Ivan Lima. Jesse C. Luxembourg Lover. Max Cooper. Nick Blorf. Mine Brothers 999X2. And Stormtrooper 501. Thank you.